Proverbs chapter 17 Better is a dry morsel, if peace be with it, than an houseful of sacrifices with strife. A discreet servant shall have rule over a lewd son, and he shall divide the heritage among the brethren. As is the fining pot for silver, and the furnace for gold, so the Lord trieth the hearts. The wicked giveth heed to false lips, and a liar hearkeneth to the naughty tongue. He that mocketh the poor reproacheth him that made him, and he that rejoiceth at destruction shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of the elders, and the glory of the children are their fathers. High talk becometh not a fool, much less a lying talk a prince. A reward is as a stone pleasant in the eyes of them that have it. It prospereth whithersoever it turneth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth the prince. A reproof entereth more into him that hath understanding than an hundred stripes into a fool. A seditious person seeketh only evil, and a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. It is better for a man to meet a bear robbed of her whelps than a fool in his folly. He that rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is as one that openeth the waters. Therefore, or the contention be meddled with, leave off. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of the fool to get wisdom, and he hath none heart? A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man destitute of understanding toucheth the hand, and becometh surety for his neighbor. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. The froward heart findeth no good, and he that hath a naughty tongue shall fall into evil. He that begetteth a fool getteth himself sorrow, and the father of a fool can have no joy. A joyful heart causeth good health, but a sorrowful mind drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to rest the ways of judgment. Wisdom is in the face of him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the corners of the world. A foolish son is a grief unto his father, and a heaviness to her that bear him. Surely it is not good to condemn the just, nor that the princes should smite such for equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that stoppeth his lips prudent.